All right, hi everyone. Today we're going to be updating an iCarsoft OBD2 reader uh, and multi-system scanner. So the one I have is the version one. There'll be similar steps for the other products that they offer. This guide's not only gonna go over how to do the update, it's also gonna go over one of the problems that a lot of people face with connectivity issues and not being able to connect the thing to their computer. So first off, Let's go ahead and go online and go to their site, which will be linked in the description. Go over to support and updates. You'll see all the different types of equipment that they make. Again, I mentioned I'm doing a first generation over here. Then go ahead and double check that you have a scanner that's listed under here. Otherwise, the following guide will not work for you. So in my case, I have a Gen 1 i906 for Volvo and Saab. Here's a video that they made. It doesn't really go over the connection issue, which is why I'm making this one. They have detailed instructions here, the updating tool, and how to fix connection problems. So they do tell you, it's just not in their video. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download their update tool. Now, I've already gone and done that, so it pops out into a RAR format, in which you can use WinRAR or 7-zip seven seven sorry, to extract, and you'll get this folder. You'll then get the setup exe. If you double click on that, it will install it for you. It also does something else. Besides just installing the software, it installs the drivers, which is really going to be the crux of this issue. So before we open up iCarsoft Update, let's go into Device Manager. So some of you may not need this because it's working for you. I'm assuming if you're looking up a video on it, it's not working for you, however. So let me go ahead and plug in my device. We'll see. The computer is reading it as a USB serial device on COM8. Okay, cool. So what happens when we boot up iCarsoft? And it's important that you go to the right product page because there's different versions of this software. So this should autofill. And you can go ahead and you can actually manually go through this, but it'll say it's not connected. So you're stuck here. So what do we do? Let's go ahead and go back to device manager and right click on that USB serial device COM8. Now it's going to probably be something different for you. So just unplug it and plug it back in and you'll see which one it is. And let's go to update driver and do browse my computer for drivers. If we go to browse and we go down to your local C disk and it'll either be in program files or program files 86, it'll probably be in 86. You scroll down until you find the I Microsoft folder, go into Microsoft Update, and then click on USB driver. Okay, so that should be fine. And it can't, this is a driver you downloaded online, so it can't verify it. So just say install anyway. We got it from the website. And you'll notice that it changed its name to launch virtual COM port, and you'll notice that the serial number was automatically read from the device. Now, when you plug in your device, it should say number one, connect USB to PC for upgrade or press exit key to enter normal mode. And if it says that it's connected and it's showing up on your device manager, then you should be able to get through to, the, through to this. If you haven't registered the device yet, it might ask you to register it. All the registration information required you can get from the device itself. Either when it boots, it should say it's registration IDs, um, or you can click that exit to go to normal mode and you can go to system info and it'll say it there as well. So now I'm gonna just click upgrade after it says connected. If you do register it without it being in your device manager properly and without having that driver installed, it'll say, um, you know, not disconnected, but not connected. So you need to have that device driver installed for it to connect. Now, some of you might be lucky and your computer is automatically able to find a applicable driver that works. But for those of you who aren't that lucky, you can go ahead and use the driver that they provide. And again, that driver is just gonna be under C, programs, Microsoft, driver, USB driver, and here's the actual driver and you wanna select the whole drive. So that's it, I'm gonna let this update, you will see a prompt on your device saying updating don't unplug it while it's doing this and then once it's finished it'll tell you it's finished so i hope that helps you update your device and i hope if you had that connection issue that fixed it for you
Thanks for watching, guys.